Sagittarius, my babies, it's going to be okay. Let's start praying. Allah, let there be separation between me and my sons as you've caused separation between the East and the West. Allah, cleanse me of my sins and as a white cloth is cleansed of dirt. Allah, wash my sins with water, snow, and hail. So the energy, I mean, this is for, this is for Sagittarians. Whether you have it anywhere in your planetary placements or in your 12 houses, your North Node, your South Node, your Lilith, or just experiencing something during the season of Sagittarius. Doesn't matter. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed, and I have a message today. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This message is about strength. And it's funny because as soon as I said that, in my premonition was the Queen of Swords and the strength and a magician. Someone attempted to rape you. And hopefully that's not a quite literal thing, but in reality, it is always a quite literal thing, a physical thing. But this is spiritual rape, what I'm talking about. First of all, you're called to believe in the impossible. And I kept seeing... Split energy leads to poor results. So whatever it is you're attached to is draining you of your energy. The succubus, the incubus energy is split. Splitting your energy is tearing you down. This is a real, it's a desperate ploy to not really just stop you, but to see all your talents and your strength and your abilities like the magician. That's somebody who's super extraordinarily talented, okay? And obviously, someone who has a lot of satanic ways or ritualistic ways wants to keep it for themselves by any means necessary. So how you come up with that eccentric rockstar seed? First of all, the energy I kept seeing was narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. So that's you combating something and don't even know where it's coming from. You just know you're combating something. Then you have energy pulled. Like you're getting it from all angles. Whether it's someone who wants to date you. Somewhere you work. Somewhere that you live. Your family. Like everything is attacking you. It's pulling on your energy. So I wrote. I wrote the word prioritize. I saw this card. I couldn't, I thought the card said something about focus at the top, but this is the card that says split energy leads to results. Focus. And then when I shuffled the cards or whatever, I got the emperor because it's like, I don't know how I want to say this message. I know what I'm supposed, I know what it feels like. And you got the emperor. And without thinking twice, the first thing I wrote on my paper was, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What does that mean? That is Arabic for peace and blessings be upon him. You know who that is? Who that represents? The Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. You'll hear Muslims say that when they mention Muhammad. Someone went into prayer or just broke down to, their, to the Most High. And began expressing how all this has been making them feel. This is the real therapy session. Is when this when you go you going through your prayers or going to your prayers. Okay, you know how I shuffled. I took some of these decks out because I don't need all these decks to to explain this message. But after I finished shuffling all the decks, I flipped all the cards over with the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Swords. Ace of Cups, Justice, and what's under it? The devil. Trying to take you down a different path. Okay? And then what's under that? The Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. You know better. You met a lot of people who try to sweet talk you out of things. Don't matter what it is. I just This gives me your mind, your body, your spirit, 
your spirituality, anything. You got the tower here, right under that page of cups. You want to redeem yourself because you feel viciously attacked. You feel played. You feel taken advantage of. You feel depleted. You feel raped. Okay? With the world card. Enough is enough. It's like somebody put you through or thought they could put you through unnecessary trials just to see how bad you wanted to achieve something. It wasn't even about how bad you wanted to achieve it. It's what they thought they can take from you. And what do they think they can take from you? You have the strength. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay? And make you be stuck with all the dirty damages. With the Nine of Wands. So now you see all of that. Let's put all this back in order in which they were received. Because it's telling a damn story. Am I, I keep hearing, am I my brother's keeper? And when I see that, you see the brother of Rose, sacred masculine. What a slap in the face, okay? Honor, protection, support. You're joking, right? Then you got go live, be authentic, build an authentic relationship with your host by hosting live topics around your, live, what? Start over eccentric. Build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. Elevate new mindset, new results. And publish. If I'm not getting a premonition with this, I feel like you think your life is in danger or has been in danger. Okay? You feel plotted on a lot. And then you got... The Queen of Swords, like I like I saw, the magician and the strength again, and the swiftness. Okay. I don't know if you think somebody's coming after you with the Three of Swords. You see that? Rejection, pain. That tells a story. That graphic. Look, that tells a story within itself. Listen, all of that. You don't trust nobody. That's what I'm getting from that. If you put that together. Okay, this is what's been happening. Now that's why you feel plotted on. It's like, this can't be the same look. First of all, your love is your sanctuary. Okay? A guardian angel. You can't be no guardian angel for no devil. Okay? You have a lot of harmony, and they go to strength part again. It's hard to break you down. Beauty, and this was a big thing, a big test of power, okay? Who wanted to have precedence over you? Power, that is your power, and there you go. Discernment. Put that. Put this discernment card with the devil, okay? And you try to have compassion for people, and it don't work. What I see is punishment, okay? Let me flip this deck over. You have the now, you have the nine of wands in reverse. That's surrender. And the empress is there. And the three of wands, patience. Something you did, something you do that people take very lightly. Knight of wands was the, the attacks, is what you felt like was the attacks. Someone tried to take with the five of pentacles, like you feel robbed, robbed of your fortune. And, and you're around, I just feel like you're, with the Seven of Cups, you're around a lot of people who still feel like they're on the clock. Like they have to sacrifice themselves or sacrifice things for success. They don't know any better. So really, when you put that together, the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands, these people come in for the gusto. They've been bamboozled already to go after people like that, to take from people like that. As a, as a defense mechanism, as a way of survival, and as a way to protect their family or protect themselves. Man. And I see this when I look at this page of wands, it's like the angels. You know, God gives commands to the angels to do whatever he wants them to do. 
and you see the angels are getting a message like you cried out for help and they got the message you know he sent he's sending help your way and i sound like i'm tearing up a little bit it's because that's the energy that's that's the somebody's shaken like their nervous system is shaken they may can't explain all of it because they're in the midst of it but they know how they feel and they're shaken believe in the impossible It's not about crying per se. It's just your nerves. Your nervous system is like. I heard just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. No, that's an illusion. That's an illusion. Nobody's going to pull you back into anything. Or it's just a mindset or a certain way of like siphoning your energy. Just when you thought you could protect yourself or was protecting yourself, you're starting to see things creep in. Damn. This flip one is a flip over while I'm trying to shuffle. A personal issue reaches a solution. Recent reaches a resolution. Something about the energy. What I think what's freaking you out is you feel like that succubus energy. You feel like that's gaining momentum again. It's starting up. Something's starting up again. Something you feel like you removed yourself from with the mercy of God. I would say this is calling you to be careful with you wanting to establish yourself or, or create something for yourself, this really speaks in business. So be very careful that no one's trying to trick you. Be careful of the trickery. So whether you in the music industry or any kind of big production type of company or type of business at all, movies, music, mass communication of any kind, do you know what I'm saying? So be careful that no one is trying to trick you into doing favors for them for success. That's where I get this from. Narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. It means don't operate with a sick heart. Okay? Don't allow that energy to come in. You see that? That looks like a profit. Okay? I gave you religion to protect you. No matter what you're going to do. But this is a personal issue. Reaches resolution. Again with that. This is full moon in cancer. Again with that cancer energy. Now let's talk about what cancer is like. That nurturing. That compassion. You don't want anybody manipulating that out of you. That is your strength. To be nurturing. Empathic. Compassionate. Clearly. Because the strength card came up how many times? In, how, in four or five different decks. And you have the empress here. That is somebody who's creative, nurturing, and compassionate. You don't have to step down to go up to end. That doesn't even make any sense. Someone's trying to back you into a corner to make you feel like you have to step down to go up. You don't step down to go up. You already established. Being an empress takes work. Being an emperor takes work. Where would you be stepping? You were, and you were never required to step down to go up. You are afflicted with trials like anybody else. But anybody who's trying to make, who's trying to hustle you, that is a form of rape. It is. For gain. Just to take something from you. Just to energy siphon you for their business. For their, for their, oh God. This is, it feels fucked up. Okay, that you're in a very bad spot. Like someone's trying to bleed you dry to the point where you're performing favors, you're performing de at bad deeds for financial gain. I have this platform for a reason. We're not gonna do that. First of all, never do. I don't care how bad the situation gets. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Hence, someone went to their prayers. Someone went, someone went to the Most High for justice because someone was warned not to do that to you and they didn't stop trying to do that to you. First of all, I said something about paranoid. If I didn't say that, I was thinking it or feeling it. Someone feels like, just like when I said, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. You and your loved ones are safe. That's what's on the bottom. Again, with the Cancerian. So that talks about motherhood, mothering your mother, your children, your family, 
yourself, security, your home life. So you feel like someone's trying to attack your home life. Prosperity lies ahead, okay? And surrender to the divine. That's why the nine of wands is in the reverse. Because initially when I showed it to you, it was in the upright. So you're still putting up the good fight. You're still combating this energy. And you're like, this isn't working. It's getting to be too much. Like it, is, it ain't like I can't stand my ground with the queen of swords right here. It's the point that you don't have to go through all of that. That's why you are the empress. Someone took advantage of you. Actually, several people in different ways siphoned your energy. Is this a joke? Okay, with the, am I my brother's keeper? The brothers of the rose, sacred masculine, honor, protection, support. You've been met with anything but that, or you wouldn't be in this situation, or you wouldn't be feeling like that. So now, eccentric, God is calling us. Look, <laughs> I feel like with this page of wands is like, I get the premonition, I tell the message, I start gut punching that shaitan. Shaitan is the devil, okay? It's time to combat. Oh, you want to mess with my sages or my people? That's it, okay? Brave girl. I didn't even shuffle this deck yet, but you have gelato. That's one of my favorite cards in this whole deck. You have gelato goddess. And it's a five on here. And it's only a five, and a five could be changed. So whoever came at you with that petty ass energy will be wiped out immediately. Something's like severely wrong here. With you trying to take care of your business, and you're being met with a lot of petty ass trickery and manipulation tactics. Like that's that's too much. Hold on, Sag. But I will tell you this, whoever is responsible for mistreating you like that is scared because you're in this queen of swords energy and the magician and the strength, someone, excuse me for saying it like this, is fucking terrified, okay? The way that you were attempted to be treated is exactly, and they have no help, they have no protection from what's being sent their way. Look at that, you see how the, he, the, the man is on puppet strings? Like puppet master? Okay, behind you. Okay? Because they did that to you. Because they did that to you. They put you in a position to make you feel like you had to fight. And then the page of wands is right under that. I'll be happy to give this message to protect Satch. Or anybody going through that. Anybody. Okay? Because that is sick. Gelato goddess is like someone trying to... I feel like it's a lot of it to do with somebody on a platform. Somebody who's trying to get on a platform. People trying to make you do weird ass favors. But even if it's not a global platform, it doesn't mean it's still not a platform. You could be in a professional setting trying to move up in the ranks. And there's like, you're met with such abuse. Okay? Let me read. I'm going to tell you in a reading, when you see Gelato Goddess, okay, I'll hold this up. Look at that. It says Brave Girl on there and everything. It's about you. Question. Have you given another the power to influence your sense of self-worth or your direction in life choose with care whom you allow to get close to you and to guide you it's obvious and yet easy to forget that if we accept guidance or influence from another we want to make sure that they are living the kind of life and being that kind of person that we aspire to be you can learn from you can learn from and be inspired by others but you have to stay true to yourself and don't allow anyone else's voice to become more important to you than a divine voice within your heart. This, and that, what does that mean spiritually for you is your soul. This is somebody's recognition of your soul has 10,000 flavors. And people may try to siphon that energy. They'll try to persuade you that one soul flavor, particular flavor about yourself is better than the others. 
you got to ignore that, okay? Because you are a divine. And you hear that word float around a lot when you get on these platforms and you read, listen to these people's readings. Sometimes you'll be kind, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of times you got to be fierce. Sometimes you'll be sweet, while other times you're called to be strong and independent, stubborn or determined. I feel like you've been all those things times 10. Sometimes you will be all class and other times you'll be a, you'll be a wolf. You dig what I'm saying? These rare people who accept themselves unconditionally will be able to accept you. And it's rare to find people who accept all parts of you and unconditionally care about you. Others who struggle to accept the, who ex, others who struggle to accept themselves may struggle to accept all of you. They may want you to behave in a certain way. They may feel embarrassed or afraid of what other people might think, so they try to censor you. Maybe they think they're helping you, but they're not. When people try to project their advice onto you, you know, they think they're doing you a favor, but it's not the best thing for you. They aren't quite ready to be freely and utterly, truly to themselves. You know, there's going to be a day for that. Maybe they will, but you have to know you're worth so much more with so much more to offer to those who are ready to embrace all of you. I feel like the people I'm speaking to is in the privacy of their own space crying because at this pivotal point, their space is being threatened or it's an illusion created that if you don't do this, you're going to lose all your stability. You may lose your home. You may lose things, your independence. It's like your independence is being called to question. It's being challenged. Like somebody's trying to extort you for your independence. But you got to carefully choose whom you're going to share yourself with. You deserve to be loved for being you. Okay? So if you're anything like me, you're all kinds of different things. All in one person. Like an empress or an emperor. Okay? But the biggest thing that sticks out to me about you is that you follow the sooner. That's a legal way of doing things. And somebody tried to make you come off of that. You can't, nobody who follows the Sunnah is successful in their endeavors. Okay. They try to, they will try to take that shit from you because they can't get to you if you guard it, if you're protected. They're trying to relax you so they can take sole control over you. They're trying to make you worry about Things you don't have no business worrying about, like you and your loved ones are safe. Who's the fuck got it? Why is somebody threatening your family or your home life, your sacrecy, your serenity, your peace? Like, why would somebody, why does somebody need all of that from you to control you? That motherfucker's going to hell. And I don't wish hell on nobody. I don't care if you did a lot of things wrong in the book. Hell is not something that's nice or something that's pretty or something that's okay to say against somebody else. But they are because they won't stop trying to rape you or trying to take from you. That Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups. Okay? And they come in, they come in at you from all angles. Okay, page of wands. There's a rat in the group too with that six of pentacles and that page of wands. Look at that. That's a young person and an old person. So they come in in many different forms where you don't think that these people mean you harm. They sneak in it. Like you get that inkling like, wow, I feel like somebody's nosing around or creeping around or just acting peculiar towards you and your family. These is older people. These is children. Okay. You got gins coming through every last one of them. Okay? And you sent that you sent that call. You reached out to the Most High. And the Most High is telling you, all you got to do, that's all you got to do. 
It say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. You can have everything you want. You ain't got to worry about it. Somebody's bothering you. Perish Abu Lahab and perish he. Because he thinks his wealth and his family and his residuals is going to save him and protect him. Nope, he's going to be thrown into the fire. His wife too. You take what I'm saying? That's Sora number 111. Also correlates with Sora number 17, ayat number 45. And when you recite Quran, we put between you and those who believe not in the hereafter. Nobody has that kind of power to bypass the Most High. So they they pick, it's like this is real strategic with the Queen of Swords. This is very, very strategic of someone or some to gather people in groups to buck up against you. Because I also get that message with the Queen of Swords. That's jealousy. That's jealousy is a female, a female tendency. Everybody experiences jealousy, but that is a female, a feminine energy, a female trait. It's a weaker female trait, but it's a female trait. And the Queen of Swords don't have to be a woman. Okay. This is people. I feel like it does give me the, the energy of a man who's jealous. Okay. With the magician taking everything that he knows to buck up against you. You can't domesticate a, domesticate a hungry lion. All you got to say is, Sallallahu alayhi wa salam. Peace and blessings be upon him. That's you praying for the messengers of God. Pray for him. And see how swift all that shit turns around. Okay? Because this was meant for you. Or well, at least they thought they, that you was going to be treated that way. Somebody nosing around you, creeping around you, you know, trying to seduce you, to take stuff from you. You dig what I'm saying? Fuck all of them. Everybody that comes to mind, whether you dated them, hung out with them, work with them, live around the same neighborhood, anything. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your boss. Okay? Anybody who comes to mind, they was up to something. That's your intuition and you should follow it. Okay? It's like swords energy, queens of swords, only deal with the facts. So this is somebody who had to study you to get the facts, to make it accurate, to make it stick. They forgot the biggest fact of it all about you is this. So maybe they wanted to distract you so you don't think to follow this to protect yourself. Now, you also got the Six of Swords. That's about, it's a science to not let nobody attack your heart. Look at the imagery, the snake and their swords in the heart, okay? Rest in peace. Someone wanted that for you. You could have felt like you have heart palpitations lately, that energy coming your way. You combating way too much stuff. And what's under that? The Two of Swords, which is peace. There's no confusion. You're not letting nobody in or let nobody fuck you up like that. Likewise, this kind of look like, I always thought this looked like a shopping cart, but it's looked like someone who's like caged in or something like that. Peace. Like you are protected with barbed wires. Okay? It could be something put in place to stop your heart. Like whoever attacked your heart or your heart space, your heart chakra, period, in any way or another. Because that's an attack too. The seducer, the knight of cups, somebody coming in for you, that's an attack. Three of swords, that's heartbreak, that's an attack. Okay? And they wanted it to be swift. They wanted it to be clean. They wanted it to be fast. Okay? Your strength. Leos operate from the heart space. That's an attack. You dig what I'm saying? The magician. Like somebody practice something to control your mind or try to control you. Okay? But remind you, you're only dealing with the facts. Okay? It doesn't matter what people try to come at, come at you with. Okay? 
You're forced to walk away. They're forced to walk away. Eight of Cups, that's indolence. Party's over. The party is over. I, I don't want to say I feel bad for the person, but I feel like they celebrated too soon because the Eight of Cups is almost a 10. So they almost got you. Or they felt like they almost got you. And how you put that Eight of Cups with that Two of Cups, they was trying to link so many different people to you. Put that together to take you out of here, to get you out of here, to relax you. Why are you so important to this person or people? It's really not about the person, it's who the person worships, okay? You see that? Attack of the heart, six of cups, that's emotions, okay? They tried everything. But you don't give up. What you won't do for love. Someone tried to manipulate that about you. What you won't do for love. They try to make you feel like you had to do all these things for love. For love. For love. Look at that. Fuck all that. You smart. You not you don't say a lot. With the Queen of Swords, you don't you got you when you talk, when you do speak, you deal with the facts and the facts only. So you could have broke somebody's ego or something. Dealing coming in as a Queen of Swords, you say what you mean and you leave off the rest. And you turn cold. I feel like you stone cold right now. Did somebody regret that shit. Cause now they're scared. Somebody, I don't know, I smell fear, but I don't smell it on you. I feel like you, it's that eight of wands, swiftness. Something shifted swiftly. Okay, just wanted to slide out. Tribe of Kindred. They, they, they want to be you. I carry your heart. I carry it in mine. I feel like that was you. That was manipulated about you. Nonetheless, it's what you come to the table with. That's what makes you so powerful. You feel what I'm saying? You could have been in a bad marriage or an abusive marriage. In most cases, the husband comes in like a wolf in sheep's clothing. If it's not the husband, it could be the wife sometimes that come in like a wolf in sheep's clothing. But it's most like in this case, it's a man who was used to rape you. Okay, I keep saying that shit. Brothers of Rose, sacred masculine, honor, protection, and support. Somebody mocked that the most high. Okay, somebody mocked at them. They learned just enough to get close enough to you. Somebody studies you. You take you is it pays for you not to take that lightly no more. Like you, if you don't think you're a big deal, you better think again. Because you gotta move different now. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. They're studying you. Again, with the heart. To attack your heart is to attack your religion. First of all, when they dis they trying to disengage that. That'll help them get to other things. So you'll use other things to get to you. They try to steal everything from you. And that justice card is here. And that empress is here. So that's librarian energy. Okay? You see that? Don't, don't, don't never change that. That look. Look at that. Look at it on the flip side. Somebody's jealous of you. When you put it that way. This is somebody's true spirit against you while you're like this. Like a wolf, like a like a, a wallflower. Somebody who's happy, free flowing, you know. You you appreciate life. You love life in a way that this person doesn't. Okay? And you see that? You see how her hands is up? Don't tell me I'm making this shit up. Okay? Using discernment. You caught on, it's like something you were picking up on. You don't know who it is. Whoever comes to mind when you were praying and whoever comes to mind, if you're listening to me talk, that's who it is. Don't speak on it. Just act accordingly. Watch how it's swift around. I'm telling you exactly what to say. Peace and blessings be upon him.
That's what stops it. Stops everything in his tracks. I mean, don't forget to say amen. So what else did I see here? The Knight of Wands, the five. Yeah, that's ridiculous. These are people you were, everybody you were dealing with were kicking up points. It's an illusion. Seven of Cups is an illusion. And they tried to manipulate it so you kick up points to them. To, to, this is a lot of humiliation. It feel like disrespect of humanity. Someone wants to, somebody came for your humanity. I wanted to disrespect you and bleed you dry and then leave. Bleed you dry of everything you got and then leave. Leave where? Where are you taking all this stuff to? Like, what are you going to do with it? They wanted you to give up everything valuable about yourself. And you made that call? Sometimes an angel comes in the form of a man or a child. Sometimes an angel comes in the form of you. And you went back and told the Most High your experience, even though he already knows. Okay? There's a victory. Something about you being vindicated, but it was also something about you being humiliated first. And then there's a vindication. First there's the, the rise and falls. Like First there's the public humiliation with the tower card. Then there's the, the victory. Like how you survive all of that? Somebody don't understand that. Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands. That is not your responsibility. Okay? To be dragged through the mud just to say you friends with somebody. Just to say you work somewhere. Just to say you're married to somebody. Just to say this is my family. Just to say I'm successful. In any way, shape, or fashion. Because it's all abundance. It's all different forms of abundance. Whatever your vice is. You didn't deserve that. Now somebody's terrified. Because they're reaping what they sow. With that seven of pentacles. And the hierophant. And the king of cups. And the moon. They're fucking scared. Okay, it's like you can't back out of that. You was where you was at that meeting. You witnessed those conversations, those plots against other people. You was there. You can't undo that. Okay, with the Ace of Wands, you was there. Okay, you was in on it with the Four of Wands. You was in on it. That's a marriage for some, but some or graduation or celebration. Somebody got initiated. Okay. And what you don't know that they was initiated into something, but they was against you, okay? You was there, all that getting exposed. What they didn't expect was for you to move forward regardless. And they thought you was gonna conceal that under your skirt and just stay there. You kept going with the chariot. It's about forward movement. And they have to reap what they sow, okay? They have a different Lord from you with the Herophon, okay? And the King of Cups says, For them, the victory in it was a lack of self-love turned to everybody loves me. I just wanted to appear lovable. I just wanted to appear in control. I just wanted to appear likable. I wanted people to, to gravitate to me in a way where they, they show me love. But you show yourself love, Sage. That was the flaw in the whole plan. And the, the moon is the secret, like the, the, the mysteriousness, the stuff you was picking up on, what your intuition was telling you the whole fucking time, like the whole time. Some of you got tears rolling down your eyes right now because you just can't believe it. You didn't even know these people held you on this pedestal in this high regard, even if they're showing it in a very toxic, malicious, devilish way. You didn't know you was that kind of important to people. And a little bit of it, so much of it could have been idol worship, but you were protected from your own ego through all of this. You never had an ego about it, even if you were protected or respected or favored. Something about you being favored, highly favored. How they say blessed and highly favored? 
You seem to escape a lot of stuff without no bruises. You feel pain, like you go through stuff too. It's only how you handle it. These people studied and worked and researched this for years. Three years for some. Rewind the clock the past three to seven years. You notice a lot of peculiar things. You just couldn't put your finger on it. And now you got people talking about I ain't, people acting weird now. I'm not no snitch. I'm not no rat. I'm just act. I'm gonna just hold my shit. I'm gonna act like the shit don't hurt. You're lying. You're devastated. Fucking devastated. How people put on a whole song and a dance and a whole performance because they have a different lore from you. Look at this Ten of Cups. Look how he, they, somebody's at your door performing. Whenever somebody says abracadabra, the real trick is going on somewhere else. So when you look at this, it's like this is the whole distraction for somebody to siphon your energy. The fucking balls that somebody would even pull some shit like that. But it's true. Shaman of Skulls, Fearless. Somebody is pale right now in the face. They are because they're terrified. You weren't supposed to do that. I love us. This is how you feel. You love somebody or love people or just show love, period, in some way or, in, or another. They weren't supposed to do that. They look depleted. Okay? I usually don't get that from this message. But somewhere where you're fearless slash they look depleted like they see a ghost. Like they saw a ghost. That's because they saw things they weren't supposed to. But messing with you. Swift. Swift and reckoning. God said he's swift and reckoning. So all these things that were siphoning your energy, that's where I get the, the narrow your focus. Split energy leads to poor results. They meant for you to fail by splitting your energy, by pulling on your energy in so many different ways where it would take you down. Confidence is your key to success. See that? Somebody thought they could break your fucking confidence. <laughs> Expect powerful change. Nothing will come of that situation. Nothing. Listen to me. You may not know a lot about religion, but I know a lot about the Most High. And I know exactly what he said across all five holy books. So, like I said, the final warning, peace and blessings be upon him. Okay? That's what you say to change the narrative. You, you probably do feel like nerve, like it's a nervous thing. Something attacking your nervous system, constantly attacking you. Like it's weird. It's very strange energy. You can't put your finger on it. You just know something is wrong. And it's making you feel like, am I paranoid? Now, these are just things that needs to be addressed and healed in you because you're not wrong for knowing that someone's after you or attempted to come after you or attempted to take from you, attempted to break you down, to take things from you. You had no idea that your so-called people, your friends, your family, business, they work for the devil. That's a real thing. That's People really do that. Okay, and you never seen it up close in person. You might have slept with people who worship the devil. You might have children with them or did business with them. See, with the four of wands, that's the truth. Three of cups, everybody is not your damn friend, and you're coming to know that. Queen of Pentacles, that pinnacle represent your protection. That's your friendship. Signed, sealed, delivered with the Most High. And these motherfuckers is like, hell no. I couldn't fake a friendship with these people with this Three of Cups. I couldn't fake a friendship with her. 
It's the Most High trying to help them with that red. You see that red back there, that aura? I wasn't really your friend. I was just working. I'm on the clock. I don't take that. I don't accept things like that. I don't accept kindness. I'm not kind at heart. I'm plotting against you. That's probably why they thought you was crazy. Because how can you not see me in my ugly ass spirit? How could you not see me in my ugly ass spirit? People thought your way of doing things was naive and blind. Love is blind. I'm just going to keep showing love to these devil worshipers. No. You have discernment. Okay? And when you make them prayers and the sincere, the more sincere you are, it looks like she's underwater. The more sincere you are, the more <laughs> they don't they, they think they're deceiving you, but they deceive themselves and perceive not. They don't perceive that. They thought they was playing you and they played themselves. I'm so sorry, Sag, that these people, you know what? I can't say I'm sorry. I can say Alhamdulillah. All praise are due to God because you're protected through all of this. You may feel like things are a struggle right now. Maybe you feel financially strapped. Maybe you feel like you are. It ain't like you're not out there networking to even be in a situation like this because you're trying to grow something for yourself. You, you focused on your stability. You know, you're trying to make a name for yourself. You're trying to live your, you're just living your life. Okay. You just pursuit of happiness. Someone tried to convince you, your dreams, nothing will come of that. Okay. Okay. Void the void. This is you realizing nothing came of all those connections. And it's a reason why. But you feel depleted. You see why now. All right. And I got the king of wands on the bottom of these decks. So for so much of you, is like a leader, a boss. Okay, or well, somebody who wanted to play boss, a spouse, a lover, could be any of these, any of these. It's more than one though. That king of wands is coming up in multiple decks. Whoever that is for you, that's who's doing it. Okay, and here you go. Mermaid soul. Could be 33 years old, life path number 33. That's a master number 33. Love is not blind. It only see what matters. You could have been speaking to these people higher self, but in the earthly realm, they are scavengers. They at the bottom of the totem pole because they humiliate themselves, kicking up points to a devil. And he got them acting like scavengers, disrespecting humanity, disrespecting themselves. Sagittarius, take a ritual bath. Okay, and pray for forgiveness and pray for your enemies because they in trouble. Okay, you was fearless when you did that shit. You're going to be fucking scared now when the life is taken out of you. How you attempted to do that to Sag. All right, don't worry about who betrayed you. Okay, keep your narrow, keep your focus on peace and blessings be upon him. I mean... Say it. Peace and blessings be upon him. I mean. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.